For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Right guys, let's do this problem where they tell you that the lift sling is used to hoist a container having a mass of 500 kilograms. That's this block down right here. Determine the force in each of the cables AB and AC as a function of this angle theta right here. If the maximum, and then this is another problem. If the maximum tension in each cable is 5 kilonewtons, find the shortest length of cables AB and AC. So that being said, you know that this uh, block down here has a mass of 500 kilograms. If it has a mass of 500 kilograms, then it has a weight of the mass times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81. 500 times 9.81 meters per second square times the kilograms of the 500 gives you newtons. So this comes out to be 4.905 kilonewtons. If the weight of this block is 4.905 kilonewtons, you know that each of these cables lifting it has half that weight. So each of these cables is equal to half of this 4.905 kilonewtons, which comes out to be 2.452 kilonewtons. And this is 2.452 kilonewtons. And this is because the sum of the forces and the y is equal to zero. So each of these cables, you know, which is found that it has 4.452 kilonewtons, 2.452 kilonewtons. All right, so now we're gonna go to our second uh, free body diagram that we did the free body diagram for the block. Now we're gonna do the free body diagram for this bar right here. So we have these tensions coming down that we found from the previous free body diagram. And we have these tensions coming up at, a, at this angle theta. And notice that everything is uh, perfectly symmetrical. We're gonna call these tensions T. So, as you can see, you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero for this body diagram up here. Therefore, two times, because we have two cables, right? Two times the tension times the sine of theta. Because two times the tension times the sine of theta gives you the y component of this force as going at an angle theta. And going down, we have, of course, assuming this orientation. And going down, we have two times, and we have these forces right here, and we have two of them. Two times 2.452k. And all of that is equal to zero. This is a formula for the y for the free body diagram of this bar right here. So they're asking us to find the force in each of the cables, in other words, the tension, T, as a function of theta. So all you have to do is solve for T. So this goes to the other side as positive uh, 4.905 kilonewtons, 2 times 2.452 is 4.905, divided by 2 sine of theta. So T is equal to, again, 2.452K over sine of theta, that would be kilonewtons. This is a function for the tension on the cables as, as a function of theta. So let's call this part A because that's the first thing the problem asks us. The second thing is, if the tension allowed in each cable is 5K, then determine the shortest length that the cables can be. In other words, how small can theta go? Let's call that part B. This is very easy, guys. I'm going to just get this little tri uh, right triangle right here. These are right triangles after all. So that right triangle shows us that this length right here is 1.5 meters given right here. This angle is the angle theta, 
and this is the length of the cable that we're trying to find now in this formula right here we're going to plug in the 5k which is the maximum as the tension so 5k is equal to 2.452k over sine of theta all you got to do is solve for theta so theta is equal to sine inverse of 2.452 over 5 is k and k but the k's cancel out so theta is equal to 29.37 degrees if theta is equal to 29.7 degrees to find the length all you got to do is divide 1.5 by the cosine of 29.37 degrees and that comes out to be 1.72 meters because 1.5 is in meters so that's the length of each of the cables and how small theta can go final answer final answer for that angle and final answer for a formula for the tension as a function of theta Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.